Good morning. It's Tuesday, May the 12th, and you're watching World Watch News in 3. Elon Musk, the controversial maker of high-end electric cars, is warning public officials he's headed straight out of Fremont. Fremont, California, where he makes Teslas. A local lockdown order was the final straw. Musk tried reopening his Tesla making plant last Friday, but the health department said he had to wait until the end of the month. So he's suing and appealing to the California governor, the president, the constitution and common sense. Unlike protesters around the state without the resources to relocate, Musk is threatening to move to Texas or Nevada. Musk says he's not messing around. Of course, you don't just pick up a factory and move. Financial analysts estimate it would take him 12 to 18 months to completely relocate. That's not pollen in the springtime air. It's the result of a blast of frigid Arctic air. A polar vortex is what meteorologists call it. It brought snow to New York and Pennsylvania, as well as all around the Northeast. Now, you don't usually see that against a backdrop of leafy trees and flowers. And here's another leafy green backdrop and something else you don't typically see. Lettuce ready for harvest being plowed under instead. For this farmer, this is hard to look at. He says the crop represents a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Uh, many hours away from your family, uh, producing a crop to maturity and not to see it harvested and, and being able to feed the nation uh, is, is stressful and hurtful and, and, and emotionally tough. The cause, as I explained yesterday, is a supply chain problem. One chain supplies institutional bulk buyers like restaurants and schools. The other chain supplies small batch buyers like you and me going to the grocery store. With the shutdown of one group of buyers and workers unable to process milk, meat and produce, there's nowhere for that unpurchased food to go but back into the ground. We are the very first link in that chain. There's nothing to process, there's nothing, no chain to carry it on. But President Trump says the government will begin buying up that food and giving it away to help families temporarily without work. Well, now a sneak peek at what it might look like to return to school in a few months. This is the Netherlands. Elementary schools there reopened this week after about two months and students, well, they're boxed in using plastic shields for the social distance of five to six feet. Um, our teachers are uh, not worried. Uh, we can protect our teachers if the students are coughing. And look at this kid putting some distance between himself and the previous world record. The first ever 1080 on a vertical ramp. Now, nobody's done that, let alone an 11 year old. This is Guy Curie from Camp Largo, Brazil. I would, I would want to be in the Olympics in whatever kind of way possible. All right, take another look here. That's 360 plus 360 and one more 360 for 1080. Math has never been more fun than that. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'm the Big Bash. We'll see you tomorrow.